Hello everyone welcome back again, today we are going to create this. After watching this preview let's start the video. Open After Effects and create a new composition, name it Logo Reveal, 1920 by 1080 duration 10 seconds long, and hit OK. Now create a new solid. I call it background. And go in effects and presets, and search gradient ramp, apply to the background layer, then change ramp shape to radial ramp, and change the black color to gray color, and set start ramp and end ramp as shown. Now move to the next step, import our logo. Right click on it and choose pre-compose, I call it logo comp, and select move all attributes into the new composition. Now select the logo composition, and go in effects and presets and search CC lens, and apply to the logo composition. Then change convergence to minus 200%. Now go 20 frames forward. And create a keyframe on size, then set size to 0%. Again go 20 frames forward and set the size to 10%. Now go at 1 second and 10 frames forwards, and set the size to 6%. Again go 20 frames forward and set the size to 20%. Now go at 2 seconds and set size back to 15%. Now go 30 frames forward and change the size to 45%. Now you can see our animation looks good. Now select all keyframes right click on it go to keyframe assistant and ease ease them. And edit graph as shown. Now duplicate the logo composition, and name it Logo Burst. And go on 3 seconds. In the logo composition press Alt and click on the right bracket. As well as in Logo Burst delete all the effects. Now on the Logo Burst layer add CC Pixel Poly Effect. And change force 80%, and change gravity to 0%, as well as change spinning to 0 and rotation value to 45 degrees, and change grid spacing to 15%. You can see it look better. Now go in effects and presets and search simple choke and apply to logo burst layer. And change choke mat 12%. Now go at 4 seconds. And create a keyframe on choke mat. And go 30 frames forward and set choke mat 35%. Now make our animation realistic. So duplicate the logo burst. And name it logo burst big. Now press U to open keyframe, and delete all keyframes. Then change gravity to 0.4%, then change spinning to 81%, and grid spacing to 45%, as well as change force to 100%, now you can see our cracks look big. Now select all layers and choose to pre-compose and name it Logo Animation. Now create a new solid and name it HDRI. Now add fill to this layer. And change fill color white. Again go in effects and presets and search Venetian blinds. You will find it in transition. Then in Venetian Blinds set transition completion to 
and change direction to 45 degrees, as well as change width to 95%, now duplicate the Venetian blinds effect, in second effects set direction to minus 45 degrees. Now select the layer and pre-compose it, name it reflection, choose to move all attributes into the new composition, and hit OK. Now go in effects and presets, and search for turbulent displace, and add to the reflection layer. And change the size to 25%, again go in effects and presets and search linear wipe, and add to reflection comp, then change wipe angle to 291 degrees, and set transition completion 48%, as well as set feather to 27%. Again go in effects and presets and search CC lens. In lens set size 24% and convergence to minus 200%. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the logo layer and set it above to reflection layer and set reflection layer to alpha matte logo animation and set the opacity to 20%. Now type your text I am typing my channel name and align it to center. Now select the pen behind tool, press Ctrl and set the anchor point to center, then make the layer 3D and change Y rotation value to 90% and create a keyframe at 3 seconds on the Y value then go one second forward and set Y value to 0%. Select all keyframes and ease ease them and edit graph as shown now set the text layer to below all layers now create some shadow to the logo layer so duplicate the logo comp and set it above to all layer Then make the logo layer 3D, and press R to open rotation, and set X rotation value to 90 degrees, and select the logo layer move downward like this. Then go in effects and presets and search for fill effect, and add to above logo layer, and set fill color to black. Again go in effects and presets and search for fast box blur, and apply to logo shadow layer, and set blur radius to your choice, in my case I set it 134%. Now press T to open opacity, and set the opacity to 30%. Now our animation is complete, I will see you in the next video.